change of task could help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system and would like to investigate. Pi, I heard for you, my friends. We all know how you've both worked. Can I remember my impressions? Howard's idea. We're all Yero. We're as well as we can be expected given the circumstances. Though I'm disappointed, I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wish the device would fail. So they, they didn't explode the sun. The sun is just dying by itself. And that's it. And that's also everything here or what? Huh? Did I watch the sun explode from here? Keep looking? I'm looking, man. Kind of balance? Eye of the universe and something else? The sun? I can't find anything else! Double checking this place. Checking all the little places here. It looks like this place is just like a... A lore place. Telling you what they were trying to do but didn't succeed on. Why were they trying to explode the sun? I, I don't get that. Why the fuck... Like whoever whoever goes like let's let's try to explode the sun for science. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll watch the ending from here. Eighteen seconds left. I'll join him here. I've watched Armageddon. Terrible movie, but I still enjoyed it. Okay. Well... That's the sun station. Thank you for the point to summer for the 16 months, man. Now we check out the black hole forge. I didn't look like they caused the sun to explode. Maybe they accelerated it, but even so, I don't think it was significant. They tried to do it. I already visited the comet. I, I couldn't find anything there besides like one recording. I don't know why. I, I they will get explained eventually. I'm I'm sure. Maybe to generate energy or something. They did say they needed a shit ton of energy to um use the black and white whole thingy to send people back in time. But that wouldn't make sense. Like, why the fuck would they blow up the entire universe just to get energy for it? And it's filled, even, so...
actually not bad. That's the Sun Station one. That's not the one I'm looking for this time. What a strange game. Usually games have some form of progression. Like you find a key or you find like a new tool or something. You know, like you play Zelda, you get bombs eventually. This game, I haven't gotten anything yet. I, I just learn about what happens, but I'm not progressing in any any material way. Yeah, the progression is knowledge, but what the fuck, dude? What, what am I supposed to do with this shit? I learned how to use the teleporters, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I played Majora's Mask, but that game also had progress though. Like, you still got stronger, you got new tools and everything. This game, you, you don't even find things as you progress. You open a door, maybe, at best. But the cool thing is that you progress more in real life. You know, like, you learn these things that were available before the game gave you anything, but you just didn't know about it. Now, there was this teleporter, and I thought maybe I was too late, that's why I didn't go off. But, I am not sure, actually, like this. I don't know. Well, I'm waiting for the sand to go away anyway, so... Might as well keep trying here. See if something uh, happens. Yeah, it looks broken, right? This just looks fucked up. Oh, fuck, it's gonna suck me up. And this one has a ceiling. Yeah, this one's fine. Oh? Where am I? Oh. Okay. It's just the other planet. It's just the Ember Twin. But what about this one then? I guess. No. I thought it got covered in sand, maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe it did. Maybe it got covered in sand the other time. And that's why it stopped working. But what about this one? I'm still pretty early in. This is like five minutes, maybe maybe six. Oh, there's something coming up. No? Am I on it? Yeah, I'm on it. There's a black hole in here. It's right there. It's just not... It's not going anywhere. Maybe this one is it's just broken. The glass on top is broken. If I see the sun again, I'm moving away. Because then it's looping. Yeah, okay. This one just seems to be broken. Wait more? <laughs> How much longer do I wait? I went one full loop. I think it's the comet or something? I only have three minutes of oxygen. What if it's like the quantum moon and I just have to keep looking away or something? Well, that plan is perfectly lining up. Nope.
No, no. I, I don't think this one works. What is that? Heck damn, I see it now. I didn't manage to go to the quantum moon. I, I found out how to get into the tower though, but I ran out of time. Because uh, you can only enter the tower at the end of the cycle. No, doesn't look like it's a quantum object either. Yeah, I did a full loop, but I'm, I'm checking maybe it's like some weird quantum planet or some shit. Look, like that one, or? No. Alright, fuck. One of these buildings has oxygen. I think it was this one. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, if I... Oh, my God. Oh, bless. This one goes home, and then the next one goes to the black hole station. I wish more games experimented like this. I think a lot of developers are afraid. Oh, should be that one. Yeah. I think most developers, they just kind of work off existing things non-stop. Improve existing mechanics. And do whatever else that already exists. Just try to improve on it a little bit by bit. Copy a lot. Uh, this game was just like... You know. What the fuck is this? Death? It's missing a tablet here. And here. The other part went back up. So I guess I go here? Do I jump? Have you considered playing until dark? Death? It's all the same depths that made me... Thank you, Foggy, for the 17. Food to put you somewhere for the 16. Uh, I've considered, but Antodon is only on the PS4, and it's also single player. <laughs> this, if this game had good voice acting, I think it could carry a lot. You know, it's a story based game, so voice acting. Would add a lot to it. But I suppose it was a lack of budget or so. Or time constraints. I'm not stuck yet. I still have places to go to. Not yet. Like I, I, I don't even know what the black hole forge is yet. I haven't seen it yet I think. One time I went back up to the surface because I didn't know it went to the surface and then the other time I jumped off and died because I didn't know you couldn't jump and then that time I jumped to the other side of whatever that was and I just died. What the fuck autopilot? the very few games and have such a unique approach to how they want the player to experience it you know just just by default almost every modern game out there 
you have some standard tutorial that just explains like the first few game mechanics and then you go on from there and this game is like nope you know just like fuck you good luck you don't know shit you don't know why you don't know what you better know who you are and then that's it Oh, those training in the cave, right. I think they could have even skipped that. It's just a colossal waste of time, honestly. I don't like tutorials in most games. They're so awful. Most of the time it just comes down to like... Some shit mechanic you could have brute force in like 5 seconds of playing. But then there's like a whole section dedicated to it. With uh, like infinite walls of text and everything. Two and a half minutes was a bit too little, I think. How do you split the two types of players? One that doesn't want to tell and one that does? I don't fucking know, dude. I think just fuck the ones that want the tutorial. <laughs> Make them learn the game naturally. Fuck them. It should be around here. Da, da, da. Given your time as near tutorial, I think I understand why this game doesn't work. To be fair, near tutorial was also the hardest part of the game. It also had the least amount of checkpoints. Ah, I came away too early. Should be around here where I'm standing. But the stock just top haven't even shown yet. It had some checkpoints. It had like two. Somewhere in the middle and then one near the end, I think. I also don't get what the point is of this sand moving around. Because this is all man-made, right? Like there was an Astrin project or something. But I, I don't get why they did it. Oh my god, I was looking the wrong way the entire time! I was waiting for the bridge to come up! It was on the other side! Oh, but this is still not open, so... Whatever, I guess. To send our good representation? Yeah, but why? I guess there's a reason for them to make this. Because they get their energy from the solar panels, so it's not for energy. You think it's natural? Hmm. Maybe. I, I thought it was like some fucked up experiment of them. Ah, fuck man, it's way too early. I should set it at six minutes, I guess. Is 
Isn't that so menacing? Jesus. All the time in the world. Except until I don't. All the time in the world. Oh, hi there, Quantum Moon. Oh, fuck. Oh, the sand runs out at the end. But, um... Yeah. Then the other area becomes... All filled up and you can't do any. Actually, I never explored the upper part when it was filled up with sand. So maybe there's something there too. I've been going like on the opposite timing, which is when it's um really empty. I think it's also supposed to... It's supposed to reverse back into the other planet. But it's not doing it now because the sun is uh, messing with shit. Oh, wait. Was that the one? Oh, it is. That was the black hole station. Oh, shit. Not cactus in my ass again. Should be the one in the trees, and then the one past this is the black hole one. If our planet was smaller and this easily traveled, then you would probably be dead. There would be so little ground, everybody would be fighting for every single square centimeter, and there's no way you would ever survive. Nobody killing each other on this planet now. There it is. All right. All right. All right. No more jumping of any kind. So that one brings me back to the surface. And what does this text say? Motherfucking fuck fuck. What? What's this place? I don't get it. Oh, what the fuck? I'm almost full. No, I'm stuck! Oh, unstuck. There's something fucky going on here. I'm floating, even though there's ground. Come on, why doesn't it... The gravity, move! Is there nothing here? North. That's... This way again? I, I don't know. I don't even know what up and down is anymore right now. <laughs> what the fuck is up?
Be cautious near the boarding area while the Black Wolf Forge is in operation. Well, last time I jumped here and just perished, like instantly. Well, maybe if I catch my sh myself there, then... It should be okay. Like if I don't move and just jump from here? No? Death? Looks like death. Wait, how do I get out now while jumping? I don't know what that is, but there's literally nothing there. There is nothing there. I thought the Black Hole Forge, it, it sounded so important. It looked like an elevator to me too, that's why I tried... Well, I tried there. But then I go there and there's just nothing to explore. So maybe the Black Hole... Forge is just broken or something? On the inside too? Strange. Wait, do I want to go to Brito Hollow? I managed to go into the someplace wing, yeah. I've already explored it though. It's like the fourth time I've been there. And I looked around quite a bit. There were like tablet slots, but I, I don't think the tablets... Wait, do I bring a tablet there maybe? No. No. I don't know. I'll, I'll wait for the quantum tower now. And I want to explore that place. Because that place has so little time to explore. My HP is so low too, man. Fuck. There's different ways into the quantum tower. The way I went into it seemed to be the standard way. Also the worst one. I didn't set this thing. <laughs> it's not it's not teleporting. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you to Dory for the free. Patrick for the free as well. Not much fuel left. Alright. Where is the Tower of Quantum Physics? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think he has fuel here somewhere too. Oh, he does. Let's go. Power of quantum physics. Wait, is this the right way? Oh, uh, I think this is the wrong way. Is it? Is it gone already? 
Wait, uh, if I read the sign, I can know. Oh my god, it's a one way thing. Oh. Yeah, maybe it's already gone. But I can check by um, reading the sign there. It is. Okay, I just need to follow it then. And then look for it. Fuck. Oh, there it is. How do I flip? No! No, 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 no! It's too soon! That, that's the skull! It's right there! It's right there! How do I drop this now? I can't drop it! Why is it going up? I can't drop it! What the fuck? Where am I supposed to drop it then? Oh, maybe there on the ceiling? No? I can't drop it. What the fuck? Shinda. Is this the only thing here too, actually? Wait, no, there's just a slot here! There's another slot! No! I can, I can do it. If you're here... in my log uh, I don't know I don't, I don't think I finished the whole um the whole conversation there it's okay I'm gonna go there again at least I know there's a second wall I, I kept trying to drop the thing normally you can drop it on the floor but when you're in zero gravity there's no floor so you can't drop it it's so fucking stupid I can't even drop it on the wall or something like that Just controls to rotate my view? I, I don't know. But man, that's so... Takes so long to get there. Alright, let's try it 8 minutes.
It's the only way to get to that I have found. There might be more ways to solve it. I mean, this this is like the uh, the normal way of doing it, at least. I'm sure there's some people who bug their ship into some shit. And they just fly in. But, uh... Yeah, I don't want to do that. I put force in... I put force enough in games. Uh, is this flying me into the sun? Yep, 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 yep. Fucking autopilot. Fucking autopilot, man. Fuck it, I'll explore until that tower is ready. Although, now I'm actually running out of places to go to. That I know of. I only done the planet with the fish. Oh wait, oh that one! Right, I actually never did anything with that. The uh, the bramble something. Dark bramble. Nope, 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 nope. We're flying here manually. Okay, should be fine now. I don't know about this place though. The last time I went here, I, I just died to the fish. And there should be two different things here. The vessel and some, um, some life support ship. Yeah, I went to that hole and, and I just insta died. So maybe I'll explore around it first. Wait a second. Huh? It can't be that small. I've been inside it before. It was huge. Wait a second. What the fuck is going on here? There's something fucky going on in this place. This isn't normal. This place is huge on the inside. But then the moment you go in... There's a distress beacon in here too. Is this on the water? Yeah, this place cannot be this big. Okay, how do I avoid these fucking things? I tried it with the ship already. It didn't work. Oh, is that a giant monster or is it two fish?
Oh, it went out. Wait, maybe they'll attack if I don't look at them or something? Why are they not attacking? Oh, what the fuck? That was just the wall, I think. Huh? Last time I went here, I insta died. I, I was on the ship and I insta got grabbed and I died. To read that last line in the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, and then we try to find out how to get past those things. Oh, I think I know where I might find a hint for it. There was a fossil of this thing at the bottom of the the sunken city. And there was a cave for it dedicated to that fossil. And maybe there's a hint there. Yeah, I remember, like, the, the second time I went there, I, I went past it. But I couldn't find the entrance, because maybe it, it got filled up with sand. But yeah, first, the, uh, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. That one skull. And then, I, I don't think there's anything left in the tower. It was just that one skull there. Nine minutes should be fine. Have I tried not dying? I tried. It didn't work. Yeah, because I, I have no idea how you would avoid those things. It's definitely not just like flying around. And you, you cannot outspeed them. There's no way. Uh, where is it going? Brittle Hollow. I think this is flying into the sun if I let all the pilots manage it. Where is it? No, no, looks fine actually. Try harder? <laughs> uh, shit, man. But that, that place is so weird to begin with because. You look on the outside, and it's like maybe... Ugh. Yeah, you look outside, and it doesn't look that big. But then, it keeps expanding inwards. It, it, do it doesn't make any sense, basically. It makes no sense at all. What the fuck is this autopilot?! Whatever, man. We're waiting for that tower to get sucked up, and then we're going. Are we stable? Upside down? 
Can't tell if we're upside down or stable. Oh, the cockpit anyway. Where's the tower? Did it get sucked already? I think it got sucked already. Was that it? Oh, fuck. Oh, whatever. I have to look for it here anyway. If it did get sucked on. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Jesus. No, that's the station. Is that it? Nope. That might be it there. Or it's pieces of it. Nope. I don't think I got sucked yet. Where is it? No. Fucking autopilot killed itself, man. What the fuck? Do white holes exist in real life? No, right? It's a video game thing. Hypothetical. Oh, so it's not confirmed yet. Okay, interesting. How do they even find black holes? Like light can't go into black holes, right? So how the fuck do they find it? Or maybe because there is no light at all. I don't fucking know, man. Science hurts my head. Gravitational lensing. Yes, of course. Of course, that's it. I'm sure black holes are just software bugs. And we're living in a simulation. Oh, is that it? It's pooping something out. No. Nope. Oh, the comet is here again. I also never figured out what the purpose is of that comet. I landed on it, I explored it, but there was like nothing in it. The interloper. Hmm. Oh! I think I just saw it. Or? No. <laughs> Man! Where is it?
I didn't get past the fishies. I, I got past like the first part and then the second one decided to eat my forehead. It's like it's almost recreating the whole path here or something. Isn't that it? I can't tell because I'm like upside down or something. No. Like a random random building. Oh! Oh there we go. Finally. I never found discs here either, did I? I only found that thing, the skull. And this one goes one floor up, and it was somewhere on... Okay, I don't remember which side it was. Left. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who after the crash had bought to another system became stranded on Brittle Hollow. And then between of no communication between these two groups of survivors. These no more looked apart, upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Namai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before they discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the moon, Recall these on the What? How the fuck did you reach the moon? You fucks! How would you read this? Oh. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. What the fuck? That thing, it keeps moving, but I don't understand. Maybe it's like a... I, I don't know. Did the music start playing yet? Oh, fuck. I think I have to bring a tablet. Like to, uh... This part here. Or it's just here somewhere and I haven't found it. What? Yeah, I have like one minute left and I'm nowhere near anything. No tablets, corpses, no skulls. And no idea what these things are. You read the story? Fuck. One more read.
It's just all lore. It's all lore. And these are planet icons, and I I'm pretty sure that's the quantum moon's location. And now it's on the eye. Oh, wait. No. No, I thought I was onto something, but I'm wrong. It's on the eye right now. Maybe it's like an order kind of thing? It goes to this one, it goes to the... The twins? Quantum knowledge, by the way. It went from Brito Hollow. To this. Da -da -da. Is Pag in game? The shrine must be on the moon's north pole. What does that mean? What shrine? Was it maybe that thingy that's uh, on top of Brito Hollow? Ah. Thank you, Super Doggo, for the 11 months, man. Is Pegging gay? Uh, I don't know, actually. Does it matter? Let me check my logs. Maybe that shows me what the shrine is. It has to be on the moon's north pole to find it. How do you zoom in? Left shift. Is this the shrine? Here are the hints. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. What the fuck kind of riddle is this? Quantum shrine. The gnome I build a shrine on the quantum... What the fuck? I never saw the shrine. I've been to the quantum moon. I've never been to the quantum moon? I didn't land on it, I guess. Well, I guess we try again for the quantum moon.
So the shrine has to be on the moon's north pole to find the secret location. Which means the fucking shrine moves too? Oh, what? What? I, I'm fucking I'm lost, man. I'm fucking lost. No, not November. I'm losing like every five seconds here. Alright. First, we find the moon. And it might be that thing. Yeah, it's that one. I found it already. That's the quantum moon. Just land on it? You can't land on it though. I've tried. What if I take a picture of it? Does it stay forever now? Because I'm observing it. There's a shadow. Oh, that's me. So the moment I look away, it's gonna disappear. So I can't change it to the landing camera and I can't get out. So landing... I, I don't know. I don't know if the picture is going to work. I don't think so. Oh fuck 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 fuck. I'm moving. Somehow I can land on this thing. I found it. I just don't know what to do with it. Might as well try the picture. Yeah, might as well. That's the picture of the moon. I went through it again. It was like last time, basically. Like, when you go through it, it just disappears, like, instantly. I can't land the ship either. No, no, no. I've tried that. Let's see if I can find the moon again. I stopped looking at the picture. Try the picture method? I really don't think it works, but I'll try it again. I think I put away the thing as I... Oh, there it is again. I think I put it away as I uh, started going in. Piece of shit autopilot!
There's quantum signals on other planets, but they they are just the um the objects, like the big pillar. That was the uh, the rock on this planet, and there was like one more thing. But I also discovered it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there were the shards and stuff. Too bad I didn't get the completion though for the log. Not sure what this what I'm supposed to do with it. Maybe stand next to it and use the um signal thingy. The last looks like I don't have to land on the quantum moon? I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. Oh, you can shift like this. I build a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Sometime disappears possibly to an unknown sixth location. Well, first I have to find out how the fuck to get on the moon. And that's linked to this? And this? Do you teleport to the quantum moon, man? Oh, maybe it's one of the teleports in the ash twin. Maybe it's the one I couldn't find. The one that didn't go anywhere. Yeah, the broken one. Also, now that I'm here anyway, maybe I can still do the fish thingies. Since I'm pretty early here. I have to find the cannon first though. Oh shit, too far. Oh, too far, man. Try the picture methods? I really don't think it's gonna work, man. It, it would seem too stupid. Maybe if it was a video camera, but it's not. It's not even a video camera, man. What? Did you see that? Everything aligned there for a second. All of them. What the fuck? Huh. Oh. Oh, it's an astro. I thought it was a moon. And a shrine was on top of it. Oh, bled. Ah, fuck it. I'm going here now. The sand is almost low enough. Some of these things are so separate from one another. Like, for example, this over here. Oh, this might be the thing. This was this this was the thing I wanted to check out. The fossil. Maybe it gives a hint on how to 
Avoid them. Oh, this still has a question mark. So it's not done yet, I guess. Alright, whatever. So, I'm guessing that broken teleporter is the one that takes me to the quantum moon. Maybe. And I just have to keep looking away until it appears and then it'll teleport me there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That was it, right there, the quantum moon. Right there again. No, that's not it actually. Different one. Okay, fuck. I need to wait for the sand. I hit the lines with a bunch of planets. But apparently the way for me to find out how to get to the last place is um... Finding the shrine on the North Pole on the moon. But first I have to get on the moon, so... Yeah, uh, that's problematic. Because when you try to go to the moon, the ship and, uh, and the player itself, it, it just falls like right through it. Back entrance, right? That means the other side, yeah. Okay. They're coming up now. And it was this building here. But there's no like text or anything. There was a corpse though in front of it. Maybe that corpse is a pilgrim? <laughs> the fuck? Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, it's definitely one of the... No oh! Oh, I think I already read this. Suck harder! Suck! I think I read this already. Yeah. It's whatever. Yeah, uh, maybe this is a pilgrim that's going towards the quantum moon. But the question is, how do I get the moon to spawn here? I went to the hanging city, yeah. that huh? 
purple thing I see all the time. Isn't that it? It was it! It went over it and it didn't work! There it is again! Oh, it has to be one specific planet! Where it orbits around exactly above this thing, I think. That's it, right there. I have one minute of oxygen left, but there's a there's a room though with trees in a bit. No time. Side was it? This one. God damn it. Make a short ducker for the prime man. And vegetable dog for the 47. Oh, I'm getting a drink right there. So Shrek by this this quantum moon shit. I didn't fully explore the hanging city actually. There was this one point where I dropped off. I tried to go for a jump, but turns out you fall when you jump when you're upside down. Yeah, I don't know about this quantum moon shit. I need to find the proper clue for it. Maybe I already got it even. That's the that's the dangerous part. And I have to visit the fossil, yeah. There's a few things I can do still. I'm pretty sure visiting the fo fossil is gonna give me the hints on how to bypass the fish. They have a whole room dedicated for it in the um Oh shit, wrong place. No 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 I'm surprised there was so little info on the power. Like when I got there and I saw the name of the place, I was like, you know, this this is endgame right here. He's gonna tell me everything I need to know. And then it was just like, good luck. Here's a secret hint, good luck. What the hell is this?
perfect landing. Fuck, I actually don't know the location of the hanging city. Although that might be it right there. <laughs> oh, it was this place, yeah. And then that place I filled. I think this is supposed to be the hanging city. And I've seen most of it. And I went here. And I made a jump from outside down. Emil's death. And I think what happened was is that I was just too slow. So parts of this platform just broke off and I couldn't go past it anymore. Looks like it's taking me to the forge? Okay. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I was definitely too late. It was time-based as well. This seems fine. Everything is fine. I don't know where I am. I have no idea. But I definitely haven't been here yet. Okay. Looks like I'm no longer walking on the side of the wall. I think. <laughs> you never tell this shit game. Oh, maybe this is the hanging city. And I didn't go there yet. matter Scary. Wasn't sure if that was gonna work. Where do I read this? I have no idea how far I'm into the game, man. I've explored most of the things that are on the surface. And now I'm going deeper. And it's really hard to say how far I'm in. And how far this game goes. And the game is also designed in a way that you can probably beat in like 10 minutes if you know where to go. At all times. Okay. I haven't found the sixth thingy yet, no. Oh, oh, I can read them here. But first, we read this one. Explanation of festivals. All the nomad towns all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called a festival. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. Some festival one class discovery can mean all nomads gonna advance to a Kronos Warp Core, which made everyone's warp long distance and explore more. The festival, the festival could last a long, long time. 
Can't go wrong because stuck here, but Felix, you okay? Why we should build a new vessel? It probably would be hard to get parts if we stop building all the new things and we broke down all the structures like towers on Ash Twin for parts. We could even have a walker for jumping long distances like the vessels have. Hope tells me she plans to make very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure she connected with the vessel which was very smart. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large, but we could make it bigger later once we research planets with more resources. It would also help if we stop building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Jero, and he says we use lots of resources on the Astrin project. Each nomad can explore the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. It's unusual for nomad to remain in one place for so long. Nomad are wanderers and have no permanent home. No home! We build a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in the star system. We could even meet with other nomad and learn from them. Like they used to. So far, no info yet on anything important. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made. But one thing we know is everything used to be very hot and dense. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it got cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxy stars and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think of. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's too scary to think about. Okay. Us too? No, I never die. Hey! Oh, I'm here! Oh, dude, that's where I kept teleporting to. And then I jumped and I died here. What? It's this place! How do I get there? Visible wall for a bit? Fuck. 